Welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you one of the products I've been using for ever since I came out, which has been years and years now. A useful tool from Corda. It's called the Corda Crusher. You have two different sizes. Uh, the smaller one here, I like to use this for uh, crushing up really hard baits. So it's a little bit easier to grip your hands around. As you can see the inside, you can see all the spikes in here that's going to crush everything up real good when you get like that. This is great for making, you know, PVA bags, uh, stick mixes. Uh, I like to actually chop up boilies and put them into, uh, spawn them out, things like that. That way if you just want to crush it a little bit you can do so. It's great for anything, pretty much anything bait wise you can put through it. I brought some tiger nuts, boilies, pellets today just to show you, you know, the crushing power of this. Like I said, you're going to have a smaller size here. And I just bought a new one just to show off the new one. And pretty much, like I said, you can see all the, the spikes inside. That way when it rotates around, it's going to crush everything up. It's a hard plastic. Very durable. I actually have my green one at home, the original. And it's still going just fine. And I uh, got an extra one just to... That way it looks a little bit better in photos. The other one's pretty well scratched up and used and abused. So uh, I figured it'd be a little bit better to have a brand new one. So I'm going to show you right now. Uh, just got my little tray of pellets here. Just want to show you just uh, hard pellets. I even air dried them so they're a little bit harder. Throw some in. You don't have to pack this full. The harder the object, you don't want to put too many. It'll be a little bit tougher on your hands. So you can see here, I just did a couple turns, and you can see those are, you can take a pellet, mince it down, and uh, if it keep going, it just keeps getting finer and finer, so you can see that. So basically, however long you grind it for is how fine it's going to get. This is a great way great way to get pellets that are uh, real fine good for boilies these again have been air dried a little I don't want to feel like I'm cheating you here you know usually they're softer so you can hear them kind of grinding through here again great way to you know do your boilies and bags grind them up and the last one just because uh, a lot of people, you know, they love to use tiger nuts in various ways. I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to use a smaller one for this. I can just grip it a little bit tighter, get a little bit better squeeze on it. So let me get some uh, tigers. I'm actually using the extra, extra large tigers here. Take the lid off here. And uh, I'm going to get a few of these out. So you can see, you know, what size, oops, dropped one of course, what size we're dealing with here, pretty large. And uh, right there, and then we'll grind them up. It goes right through like nothing, like butter. You see all these are nice and ground, perfect. Releases all that smell out too that's locked in the center. The more you do this, the more they're going to grind down. Makes a really nice particle. Like I said, you know, anything you want to do it for, PVA bags, mesh, put in your spawn mixes, uh, anything you can come up with, you know, it's great to do. So I just want to show off one of the tools I've been using for quite some time, the Quarter Crusher. Got the other one here. And they come in two different sizes, and they're going to last you forever pretty much. And one thing I don't have here is hemp. I love to do hemp with these. Grind it up, all that oil comes out, especially summertime, which it is right now. All that oil comes out, the fish love it. A little tip for you is whenever you're using hemp, you know, you're spawning it out. Once it settles on the bottom, as soon as the fish come in, if you have waves on the water, that oil rises and you'll see a flat spot. That way you know there's a fish in your area. And uh, just a useful tip I've picked up through the years that I love using because of this. So again, quarter crusher, 
Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave, leave them below. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you again for watching another one of my videos. You'll see two videos below showing you how to make corn on the left and oats pack bait on the right. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more on my channel. Please hit subscribe on the right side of the screen. And anytime a new video comes out, you'll be the first to see it.